Hi everybody, my name is Joel Watts. Uh, I have been uh, kind of messing around with archery for a few years now. My dad got me into it. Um, when I was 16, I think he really kind of got me going. When I was a kid, I just played around like everybody else, but he bought me a uh, Ben Pearson Spoiler II uh, compound bow, and that's what I used for a few years. And then he got into building uh, traditional bows, bows made out of wood, like uh, flat bows, uh, Native American flat bows. And then he did a few English long bows and a couple other things. I actually have the first long bow he ever made, um, and I still shoot it to this day, which has been several years later. It pulls 45 pounds at a 31 inch draw, or a 28 inch draw. I don't know what it is over that, um, because I draw a 31 inch draw. I'm about six foot three, so kind of a long draw length. It's hard to find arrows. But anyways, I've been messing around with uh, these PVC bows for a little while, a uh, few months now. Mainly because one day I was watching a video, um, I believe uh, the Lars Anderson reinventing the fastest forgotten archery. And I really liked the Asian composite bow and I was like, man, I would love to be able to do that. But purchasing those bows are quite expensive. And making those bows, you need to be like a master boyer. Uh, not just something you step into overnight with the bone and sinew, things of that nature. Uh, pretty difficult. I've made flat bows before, and they're tough enough, even when you don't laminate them. But um, I wanted a way to kind of learn to shoot that style, I was a traditional one finger over, two fingers under, um, shot from the left side of the bow, I'm right handed. Um, and I really wanted to learn a way to shoot faster, and that just kind of slowly got me into doing these uh, uh, PVC bows. I saw a link to a video and I was just like everyone else, I was skeptical, I was like, what the heck's a PVC bow? How do you make a bow out of PVC pipe? That seems silly. But uh, after making the first one, which was a huge flop, by the way, it kind of got my interest, I guess, like most people. So um, I'm, I've made two bows um, that I kind of like the way that they came out. I'm not very happy with them, but to be like a first time shot, I was pretty happy with them. They've convinced me that you really can make an efficient, effective bow from PVC pipe. Um, and I've got two, uh, the two of them I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna try to get uh, a shooting video for them. Um, one is all PVC is based off of the U3 curve like many other people. It is actually the third one that I did. The first one was a major failure, so I'm not going to count it. So we're just going to say that this is the second one. The first one I did was the 48-inch uh, horse bow with the wooden C. Is. Um, I really liked that idea. I'm not crazy about the way the bow came out. However, it shoots incredibly fast for what it is. Um, it's chronographed, I believe, at 155 feet per second which is a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Um, it pulls 40, 46 or 47 pounds I believe at 28 inches and like I said I pulled a 31 inches but I've tried not to have a fixed anchor point and I also shoot with a thumb release off of the right side of the bow. Um, the one with the wooden C as I made uh, is right here. Um, I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, all I did, it's made exactly as the video, uh, pretty much. Um, it uses poplar C is because it's really, really unbelievably easy to shape. The bow's not flattened like I would like it to be, um, but it is very, very effective. Um, and like I said, it, it pulls pretty strong and shoots pretty fast. And also, I made the string for it um, based off of the stringing videos. I'm pretty much learning everything from Nick right now, the backyard warrior, who really kind of inspired me to do these, um, as many other people. Um, but this is the first one. Uh, so you can see the handle is wrapped incredibly way too long. I honestly swear to God got uh, carried away. I was watching television, not paying attention. But it's a very, very simple wrap. It's just the uh, pull-through knotless wrap, uh, paracord wrap. It's nothing to it. And then another one, uh, the second one that I made that I really, really like um, is based off the U3 curve. 
Um, the only difference I believe is that I have eight inch recurves because I had an eight inch pot. I didn't have a six inch pot. And actually at an eight inch length, they become working recurves instead of static recurves. And I think that's kind of what aided into the, the stability of this bow. I really like it. Um, it's not perfect. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to. But I do enjoy it quite a bit. And uh, I'm actually giving it away um, to a coworker who just wants to do archery for fun. But um, it's, here you go, you can see it. Uh, you can see how dramatic the recurve is. Uh, but it shoots really, really, really well. And I made a string for this one. And I also put a knocking point on it because my coworker doesn't exactly shoot a bow. He's wanting to get into it. And this is a really cheap and effective, or effective way to be able to do so. But it shoots really, really well. I love the length of the recurve and how it curves. Um, some people I think would prefer a shorter recurve but not me. I do like that a lot. I also, um, I was making an arrow rest and I made it this long intentionally. It's just a piece of PVC that I cut um, if you can see. And uh, as you can tell the bow's all scratched up because we've been beating and banging it around. Uh, <laughs> it has no clear coat on it. It's just paint. Um, but oh, the uh, arrow rest is really long and I was going to cut it off but as you can see it just fits so nicely over your hand it's so comfortable and what I found is it really causes you to hold the bow properly um, and it doesn't matter if it sticks out that far the arrow rest right up against the bow you can see where it's been shot across several times I'm gonna put some felt or velcro there or something but I just absolutely love this bow, and I plan on making another one uh, very soon. Except I'm going to reinforce the handle on it. And uh, this weekend, my dad wants to make my dad, who makes all of the uh, traditional wooden bows, wants to make one of these PVC bows because I let I let him shoot the uh, wooden seated bow, and he fell in love. <laughs> he was like, "Oh my God, what's inside this? What's the core?" And I was like, "Nothing. It's just solid PVC." But anyways, I wanted to say a huge thank you to uh, Nick the backyard bowyer um, your bows are amazing I, your ingenuity and creativity is just off the wall um, if you got your ideas from someone else you're still amazing you've implemented them like no one else um, and a couple other people a few others who have built some amazing PVC projects just amazing bows in general um, but anyway I plan to put some shooting videos up and a few other things so if you guys um, well, stay tuned. I'll get those for you as fast as I can. All right, thanks.